Hello, my name is Atanas Mihalchev. I am a graphic designer and paper toys producer. My company, Hertia Toys, produces paper toys and paper objects. I would like to develop a reflection about the paper toys. The question is, are paper toys just miniature models or can they have aesthetic value and be considered as pieces of art? I designed my first paper toys during my studies in Prague, Czech Republic, 40 years ago. It was a semestral assignment to design a thematic paper toy. I selected the firefighter profession. In the era before computers, I made this project by hand. I used brushes, tempera and rapidographs. This is my final version of firefighters with Canadian uniforms. In my research, I discovered the two main families of paper toys. Origami, ori meaning folding, and kirigami, kiri meaning cutting. Classical paper toys belong to this family. They can be also folded and glued. Kirigami offer more possibilities. They allow making all kinds of models, sculptures and even packaging. A good result depends on precise cutting and assembling. Using glue opens new possibilities. You can add details like moustaches, curly hair, tails, etc. I would like to present some of my sources of inspiration. Nativity scenes, soldiers' uniforms, miniature home theater, dress-up dolls, paper circus, pre-cut design. Nativity scenes were probably the first paper toys. They started with the beginnings of lithography printing. The printed colorful and inexpensive sheets were assembled at home during the Christmas holidays. Even now, nativity scenes are very popular in the Catholic world. My objective is to design characters easy to build with the minimum of gluing. Paper soldiers. During the Napoleonic Wars, these collections become very popular. Kids played with paper soldiers and reproduced great battles. The colorful soldiers' uniforms inspired me to design collections of paper figurines. For example, martial arts warriors, cowboys, and even a hockey team. At the start of the 19th century, in London, more than 300 plays were published in this form. Artists were sent to playhouses to record scenery and costumes. They received free tickets because paper theater was great advertising. I developed my paper theater with characters from popular fairy tales, king, dragon, princess, jester. This allowed children to invent their own story. English dolls. They appeared in the second half of the 19th century. Industrial revolution introduced mass communication and printed press. Paper dolls were inserted in fashion magazines. Paper dolls have their golden age in the 70s, thanks to designer Tom Tierney. He published over 350 books. My collections of princesses and dance was inspired by this trend. Vintage Paper Circus it was distributed in programs of famous circuses like uh, Barnum and Bailey, Medrano or Crone. 
My circus figurines are not closed on all sides like a boxes. This helps assembling and gluing. Pre-cut design. Cutting is most problematic for young kids. This can easily compromise the final result. Laser cutting resolved this problem. Many companies propose pre-cut paper toys. I use a Mimaki cutting plotter, which pre-cuts difficult parts. Computers and cutting machines make designing faster and encourage experimentation. This allows to produce paper toys in small series. Several designers also offer files to download from internet and print at home. The work of Japanese designer Katsukimura was a big discovery for me. His paper creations are purely objects of art. Spherical and floral objects are usually difficult to translate into paper. I am very impressed how he explores the physical nature of paper. His paper objects are almost abstract, without losing their figurative identity. I try to apply the same principles on my two collections, fruits and vegetables. I used humorous minimalist approach in a project for the band Trico machine. They asked me to develop paper figurines based on their songs. The paper objects were part of the CD sleeve. I proposed paper figurines easy to cut with a minimum of gluing. I keep this minimalist approach in my greeting cards design. I try to reduce the difficult cutting parts. During the pandemic, I realized my secret dream, using fire with the paper object. This property of paper is not often used. My virus to burn is my declaration of hope. I hope to go soon diving with my daughter Anna. As a result of my nostalgia, I have developed a scuba diver figurine. Polygon's method is more and more popular. 3D virtual sculptures are converted to polygons. Pepakura software converts the polygons into flat details for cutting and assembling. This makes design process easier. It is not necessary to produce so many prototypes, but it can also result in artistic uniformity. Sometimes this method produces so many polygons. Assembly becomes problematic for young kids. Bauhaus. I graduated from the Academy of Applied Arts in Prague, Czech Republic. Teaching in our school followed the tradition of the Bauhaus school. We were influenced by concepts of Joseph Albers. His famous preliminary course from the beginning of the 20th century left a big impression on me. The concept was to acquire experience with the materials. Student tested properties of paper, such as flexibility or rigidity. During the exercises, Students created abstract paper objects without practical utility. Joseph Albers' motto was, try before you study. The course stimulated constructive and creative thinking. It showed how a simple fold can transform a soft sheet of paper into a rigid structure. My specialty was graphic design but those lessons had a big influence on me. They inspired me 
to open my paper toy company, to become a member of YAPMA, and to develop abstract paper objects. Here are some of my most recent works. I am convinced that paper toys can open up new perspectives for future generations. They can be used not only in primary education, but also for older people. In addition, paper toys can give young artists the desire to explore the domains of paper sculpture, architecture, packaging design and scenography.